just going to have to drill holes in them, but while I'm doing that, I'm going to let the wheel carriages sit on there. So this is where a little pin comes in handy. I want the wheels to, to go right in the middle of these, of course. So I'm making my holes prior to gluing them on. These are just some matchsticks. end pieces should add some stability to it. Not long enough. <gasps> yes, measured twice, cut once. Anyways, I'll have to use those for something else. just a little bit wider than the whole carriage. I thought I had cut them wider. Right on that line. I use wire cutters for a lot of stuff. Actually different than those ones. This is made out of birch. These are nice. Suppose I should have to edit a lot of this stuff. Speed it up. first, okay, and then I have found that it's easier to put the wheels on and then glue it all on because of course it falls off if you're impatient like I am. So these sequin pins that I've got here are half an inch, I haven't been able to find one smaller but you can see that's going to be way too long to stick into our, our match head there. So this is why I just cut them off with uh, wire cutters. I try to confine the points so I put them in the, my used blade tin can. And we've got holes already marked in these matchsticks. Just force it on until it's not really tight but close to the wheel as possible. There. That way we still get spin motion. And we'll just glue that back on. Excellent. Okay, I've uh, made a little basket here for this. I don't know if you can see it. 
I've just used wire and just kind of loosely made a, uh, a basket shape. I had to drill a couple holes through the, the lever. So now what I'm going to do is I'm sort of going to cover it with animal skins. What I've done is I've got a little bit of wa watered down white glue here and to it I'm going to add just a drop or so of uh, brown paint. Up here a bit. There we go. Remote's kind of handy. Still doesn't help. Need a cameraman. Need a script writer. Need more time on my hands. Anyways, I like this dollar store acrylic paint. It's kind of nice stuff. Cheap too. Anyways, now we have a little bit of brown, watered down blue. I'm just going to take little pieces of this. This is just uh, tissue, uh, you know, Kleenex, toilet paper type tissue. Dip it in the glue and then put it onto the our, uh, wire frame on our basket. Get a thin layer on and then just let that dry and add another layer after. Do that several times and it'll look just like a skins wrapped around there. I'll show you when it's dry. Okay, our little basket is dried now. You can kind of see that. Came out a lot darker brown than I wanted to. I guess like I should have only put in two drops of brown instead of one. I've wrapped it with threads on both sides just to give it a nice nice appeal to it and wrapped some whoops sorry some thread around the winch or the windlass. Okay now we're just gonna give it a nice dark colored stain to the to the wood using my dirty black Wash water. It's best if I know for uh, giving that nice weathered look to, to wood. At least for a nice base coat. Makes a great primer on wood. Don't know if I'm going to cut that tip off on the end yet here because I might make a nice finger holder for, for shooting it. Toys are only fun if they work. Okay, let that dry. Oh, actually, I'll show you this. This is kind of a neat trick. Take your toothpick and on these little joints, okay, like on the, on the well here, let me show you on the bigger one here. Okay, on, on, right here they'll drive a wooden peg in there to hold it, okay. So, on something small like this, I just use the point of a toothpick and I'll poke it in while it's kind of a little wet. And then cut it off with some flush cut pliers. I have to pick up all those toothpicks because I need them. No, you probably can't see that, but anyways, you've got a nice little wooden peg now holding your uh, beam on. Same sort. Okay, I dry brushed green on here. It's kind of hard to see. It's small. And I ran the, the dirty wash over top of the little pegs. I've also painted the tops of all the, the pins black. So, with a little peb pebble like this, I can get pretty much two feet of air time out of it. Should be perfect for taking down castle walls. Total height, I'd say two inches, inch and a half long by inch and a quarter wide.